<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. Sure. I agree with you. Can I switch gears? Yeah. I got to ask you about Fuck something. Fuck yeah. Ask me about anything. Joey Diaz. <laughs> Tell me everything. How did you meet Joey Diaz? Because then I want you to ask me this. I okay. want you to ask me what my experience with Joey. But how did you meet him? How did he come into the fold? I met Joey Diaz in the late 90s uh, at the Comedy Store. I think I met him in like 96 or 97, something like that. Uh, right when Joey moved to LA, we just started hanging around the comedy store. We became friends, and then uh, I started taking him on the road with me, like uh, the late '90s. Okay, and we've been best friends forever. So, I know of Joey. I don't know Joey. I've never met him. You never I've met Joey? Never. I've I call said, him up right now. TV and the whole bit, and you know, I know him from you from you, him. and I see your podcast and all that. But and he's in the circles. He does some jujitsu. He's funnier than hell. And he's a gangster, so I like him, but I don't know anything about him. So he comes on my podcast. Now, he has a podcast, so of course my opening line to him is, hey, how'd you get into podcast? Right, I'm going to put, uh, he's, here's your plug for your podcast, and we're going to go on and talk about my agenda. So I say, Joe, I say to him, Joey, how'd you get into podcasting? And his response, you know, Chael Sonnen, he wouldn't call me Chael. It was always, Ch you know yeah. what, Chael Sonnen? He still calls me Joe Rogan. <laughs> I mugged a hooker down in New Jersey and set her, li uh, set her wig on fire. And it's like, okay, we got to, there's two moving parts here. First off, that is, I don't know how that answers my question of how, you, but now I need to know the story here. So he ties it all together with, so he went on something, just something he got an appearance. He told the story of mugging a, her, a hooker in New Jersey and setting her wig on fire. And all of a sudden he blew up overnight. And he goes, yeah, I realize people like those stories. I never knew that I had stories from the part of the country I'm in and the neighborhood I grew up in. I thought everybody had these stories. He's like, chill, son. And I thought I'd tell you I mug a hooker and light a wig on fire. You go, yeah, well, I, I mug 10 hookers and let 10 wigs on fire. He's like, I didn't know I had stories. And then it just goes from there. And he starts telling me about... So, so, so he, he ends up doing two years or 18 months. And I said, well, you, well, what kind of jam did you get in there? And he said, well... I was actually, I was doing the cop's job for him. You know, the cops don't want drugs on the streets. I, I went and took two kilos off the streets for him. <laughs> this is how he presents it to me. And he goes, yeah, you know, the, the, the two kilos wasn't as big of a deal. Oh, he said, oh, so I, I, I robbed two kilos. He goes, and you know what else, Chael Sonnen? I just happened to have a machine gun. <laughs> and I go, well, I can see where that happened. He goes, yeah, sometimes you just back into a machine gun. I had a machine gun with me. And he goes, but it's funny. I wasn't in trouble for the gun. I really wasn't in that much trouble for the drugs. What they were upset about was the kidnapping. And I'm going, okay, what What happened here? This is my intro to the guy. I'm like, what, what in the hell is this story? You probably know the story, but I didn't. So he tells me the whole story, and he says, yeah, but, you know, kidnapping's kind of a weird charge. He goes, when you and Vandalay got in that scuffle in The Ultimate Fighter, if I come and grab you and I take you into the next room just to cool you down, taking you into a room against your... That's kidnapping. So I think, like, they got him on a technicality jam, like what they're doing with Frank Mir or some of these guys we're talking about. And I said, oh, okay, is that what happened? And he goes, no, I, I duct taped the guy who was in my trunk, and then I held him in the house for a week before I let him go. I'm like, well, then why did you tell me? Why did you bring up the initial example of taking me next door and cooling me down? What would that have to do? I still don't know.